Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I have something pretty cool for you. Uh, it is a cell phone signal booster by HiBoost, and this one's called the HiBoost Hero. Now, in the past, I haven't been really up on boosters because it's nothing more than, well, an antenna outside picking up different frequencies that you could get outside anyway, well, and bringing them inside and rebroadcasting them. But I understand if your cell phone's not working, you're going to want to do something like this. Also, it's going to work for modems and stuff like that. So why not? I have a cell phone that in this case was only getting two bars. I was able to get it to go to five bars. And I also was able to maximize a lot of different frequencies. And why don't I just call it a win? Because I wanted to see those results. A lot of YouTubers would call it a win at this point going, I went from two bars to five bars. But I know that bars mean nothing. Bars mean signal strength. And I'm not, I'm not impressed by that parlor trick. I want to see the results. And I couldn't get the results. So I went online and I looked at other YouTubers and saw their results. And not only can I understand why it wasn't working for me now, but I can explain their subtle wins as well. So let's dig into this and figure out what the heck's going on. All right, so as I mentioned, these things are radios. They receive certain frequencies and, well, in this case, they rebroadcast them. The challenge with these repeaters is that, uh, well, there is a passive element. It's the, it's the antenna, which I want you to think of as a directional microphone. You got to put that one side of the house towards the tower. And then there's the other piece, which is the, I guess, the, uh, the internal antenna. And that's kind of like a speaker. You want to make sure that the, uh, the microphone can't hear the speaker because that way you get a feedback. Now, there is some good firmware on this where it'll actually light up in the display, which is beautiful, and it'll identify, hey, I'm getting some feedback. Perfect. Link, thanks for letting me know that. But once I got it completely optimized, and now I'm getting excellent signals across the board, um, I'm, I mentioned I'm getting five bars on my phone. I'm pointing an antenna directly at a modem seeing no improvement. In fact, I'm seeing some degradation. And that's what some people were seeing online as well, but they didn't understand it enough. So I dug deeper to explain it to you as well. And now I know why it's not working and why it's not going to work for you either. So as I mentioned, this is a radio, it receives certain frequencies. We talked about 5G. We know what 5G frequencies we're looking for. We're looking for N41. That's at 2,500 megahertz. Nope, we missed it by about 350 megahertz, so that's not going to work. We're also like N71. In fact, N71 is for extended range. That makes sense. If someone's going to put an antenna outside, spend money on an amplifier, they probably are an extended range situation kind of person, right? Well, that's at 600 megahertz. N71 is at 600 megahertz, and that's too low. Wow, so forget 5G. 5G is not going to work at all. All right, well, that's okay. We can go to 4G. Maybe that's what they were talking about when they said they work with T-Mobile. Let's take a look. Wait, let's see, I recognize some of these bands. I know band 2 and 25. I know band 12. Huh. And band 5. Those are all reasonable bands. Let's take a look. Here's T-Mobile's bands. All right, we 5G, we've already said... Those don't work, right? So let's look into the 12 is at 700 megahertz. Okay, 12 is, at, we already said that uh, N7 or 71 is not gonna work. B71 is not gonna work either. 600 megahertz is too low. But will 700 megahertz work? Yeah, for the uplink. In fact, some of the folks were saying they saw an uplink uh, change, but they went up by four times. So I don't think that was it. 700 megahertz misses on the downlink. That's why I saw no download improvement. And the other people online, they saw no download improvement either. So that one's busted. That one doesn't really work. Let's take a look. How about um, band five? Oh, I remember they saw band five, right? right? Band five. We are at 850. 850. That's a miss. Oh, what a bummer. It's so close. They're at 149 megahertz. But again, this is a radio. In the San Francisco Bay, if you want to get to KFOG, it's 104.5. It's not 105.5, and it's not 103.5. In fact, if you put in 104.6, it's going to be all and really lousy. So it's a miss on the uplink, and it is a miss on the downlink, too. So band 5 is busted as well. Band 4, 7, oh, and 66. Bands 4 and 66, they're an extension, one's extension to the other. 1700 or 2100, depending on the implementation, depending on your tower. Let's take a look at both of those. 2100, nope, too low. 
and 1700 nope nope it's this is too high so the uplink misses and the downlink misses huh band 2 did band, band 2 was at 1900 megahertz 1900 the same as uh, hey n25 is going to be at uh, is going to be at um, 1900 megahertz as well this radio won't receive it, and this phone doesn't receive it, but maybe, maybe, because I can pick up an N25, that's why this radio was acting and saying, I've got all the bars I need in the world. Well, let's see. What else we got? 1900 megahertz. All right, they're uplink. Here it is. This is why those uh, people in the camper van were saying their uplink went up by four times. Yeah, I believe it. You were getting banned too. And their downlink actually got worse because it's a miss. This miss is almost across the board. I have no idea how they're able to say that they work with T-Mobile. Perhaps, no, there's no reason to say that they work with T-Mobile. It's a complete miss. This is a mismarketed product. Hey, that's why you subscribe to my channel. Other people would say it's a win. They go, oh, I got my five bars, but they don't know that bars don't mean anything and that uh, it's actually a radio and there's frequencies and this is a total miss. I don't know who it would work for. I know that um, AT&T is also at 1900 megahertz and that's gonna be a miss. Is this a radio for a different country? Because this is not gonna work at all. It shouldn't be sold. Your money's much better spent over here. Buy an antenna, watch my video, take your antenna apart, plug in the leads. It comes with the leads. That's how much of a kit this is. It comes with the IPX to SMA leads that you need to adjust your radio and bring out the antennas. You just disconnect their internal antennas, bring out the external ones, and uh, then poke it up to this antenna. This antenna does amazing job. It goes from 600 megahertz up to 6,000 megahertz. Not only will it work with N41 and N71, but it'll work with N66, it'll work with N25, it'll work with N77. This is the right way to do it, guys. Hey, if anybody does have a product that's like this, that is a booster and says that they're gonna willing to be up to this kind of scrutiny, because I'm gonna look for results. I don't just look for bars. I look for actual score improvements across the board. If you're up for this kind of scrutiny and you have a real product, send it to me. I wanna see it. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. Uh, give this thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, you have to subscribe because I'm the only one that knows what I'm doing. <laughs> See you in the next one, guys.